just divorced the guy. Why go to all that trouble just telling him to pack his bags at the road? Well, you know, folks can't take the hint, you know? Some folks are like that. Not me. No. But you came back, didn't you? Yeah, I wonder why. Oh. <laughs> all right. Now I've got that sorted. Look, I am. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Okay. Up the time. You are so good looking, Mary. Well, you do look nice. Mm. What'd you do to him? He's got a little fetish, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you wanted me to whip him? <laughs> Better close the blinds then. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Mm -hmm. Too smart for you, that's all it is, boys. Maybe a little bit more luck on the next time, hey, mate. Hey, we know all the chorus, don't we, huh? Swing, swing together, our bodies between our knees. Oh, that's a lot I always like. You huh? are pathetic. Nothing can sever the bonds that are around us now. Nothing can sever the bonds that are around us now, yeah. boys. You're making a fool of yourself, Is that what I'm doing, Darcy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what hey, you know. How about we get one of the original quad squad together what again, huh? That's a good idea. Here, look, get in there. Oh, come on, here. Come on, Sammy, you get in. We're a band of brothers. Right. We're a band of brothers. No. We're blood brothers, aren't we, Dan? Huh? Yeah. Sorry, right? Sorry, Sorry. Sorry. what the hell are you doing? Yeah, come on, take the Maybe a little later. Rory, a little later when he sobered up a little. You know how it is. Hey, what's wrong? Yeah, get him out of here. Get him out you better get going. Hey, Simon. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, give him the hey, drink. Hey, let's go. Hey, Simon. It's supposed to be a bloody reunion. Let's go. Give him my beer. Simon, let's, let's go. Let's go. Get off. Let's go home. It's supposed to be a bloody reunion. Come on, let's go. You've been too much. Get off. Get out of here. Let's go. Get off, Simon. Get off. Let's go. Get off. Get off. Get off. Let's go. God damn it. A bunch of mongrels. Come on. Blood Come brothers. On. Yeah, why Come on. Get off me. Get off. Let's go. Now, where are we going? I'm taking you home. Oh, home? Where the hell is that? Come on. No. Well, I'll make my own way back. Come on, let's go. No, no. Look, I'll tell you a little secret, right? I'm not as drunk as you think I am.
So what's your quota for this week, Tommy? Two floaters, one clear suicide, one suspicious circumstances. Doesn't seem to get any better, does it? That's the guy who called us. Yeah, we got a floater off the starboard bow. Must be in the wreck. Yeah, we got him, Dave. That's number three. I'll get the boat hook. Listen, you've had your fun. Sit this one out. Thank you, David. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Hey, Dave. What you got for us? All right, male, mid-twenties. Hasn't been in the water very long. Our uh, jogger friend here phoned it in. G'day. Thanks. You got any ID? Yeah, we found this in his top pocket. Kingsmere College, class of 92 reunion. Oh, that'd be all right. The name would just make it a little bit too easy now, wouldn't it, Rachel? That's the thing about ink and water, you know, you put them together and so... <laughs> you should work for forensics, Dave. Relax, this was pinned to his lapel. Oh, name to Simon Collins. Is that your son, Mr. Collins? Yes. That's Simon. When did you find him? We found him in the harbour this morning, just under the bridge. You've got no idea how this happened, do you, Miss Collins? No. I'll have to contact his sister. Can we continue this back at the yeah, house? Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. I was taken when they won head of the river. Scales, they call themselves the Quad Squad. Squad, it was a stupid name. Do you want to just um, tell me uh, the names of all the boys? Yes. Right. Shane Bookman, mm -hmm. Darcy Knowles, Gary McPhee, Simon. Best Quad Skulls we ever had. They certainly gave the present quite a hammering at the regatta yesterday. Of course, Simon, he, uh, well, he wasn't up to it. Another old boy took his place. Mm -hmm. When did you last see your son? Uh, he was at the regatta, and he dropped by here on his way to the reunion last night. And were you close? Uh, did you see a lot of him? Oh, we've had our problems, but lately Simon and I, yeah, closer than ever. Could you explain what type of mood Simon was in last night? He was in really... Young. I realise you feel you have to ask that question, but you can dismiss any idea that Simon's death was anything but a tragic accident. In fact, he was in a very positive mood last night. <laughs> he, he came to tell me he decided to go back to university. Hey. Uh, do you have something to say? Do you want to talk? No, it doesn't matter. My father will tell you everything you need to know. Excuse me. I don't think there's anything else to say. Yeah. I'm sure you'll appreciate I have a lot of things to attend to. Yeah, yeah, of course. If you need to know anything more about last night, I suggest you get in touch with Shane Bookman. He's a junior master at Kingsmere these days. And he was the one that uh, organised the reunion. Thanks very much. Good. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Thank you. This is terrible. I can't believe it. You knew Simon Collins well, Mr. Bookman? Yeah, very well. We're in the same year. Did you say you were close? Uh, it's been a long time since anyone's really been close to Simon, but at school we were, yeah. Do you live at home alone? No, he lives with his sister. Detective Jack Christie, Detective Rachel Goldstein. Okay. Yeah. No shame, Bookman. What would you say his relationship with his family was like? With his sister it was good, but not with his dad. I mean, Douglas and Simon have hardly spoken for years. All right, would it surprise you then that Simon spoke to his dad twice, yesterday? Yeah, it would. Did, did Douglas tell you that? Oh, this uh, Douglas, he used to teach here, didn't he? Yeah, he was a former headmaster. Uh, he had pretty high expectations of Simon. Right, what were the problems then? Well, Douglas has disappointed expectations, mostly. I mean, he was unhappy with the kind of life Simon chose to lead. Oh, yeah, what kind of life was that? He'd become a bit of a loner. He, he drank a lot, he worked on a building site on and off. He just became a bit of a lost soul, really. Did you see Simon Connors lead the function last night? Yeah, he was making a bit of a spectacle of himself. <laughs> he was pretty drunk. I offered to give him a lift home, but he insisted on walking off on his own. I mean, I should have stopped him. Yeah, why didn't you? Short of physically restraining him, what was I supposed to do? Okay, well, do you think it's possible that uh, this Simon Collins could have taken his own life? Why? Isn't an accident a 
more likely explanation. Maybe. Yeah. What is going on with that family? Are they weird? Yeah, well, OK, OK, it's a bit hard to get a handle on who this Simon Collins yeah. was. But, uh, you know, his father and Shane Bookman, they yeah. sound like they were talking about two different people. I know, I know. Shane, he's straight, right? But did you see what's going on between Amy and the father? That father, he's lying. Oh, no, lying's a bit strong. I mean, you know, it can't be too easy to admit to yourself, and especially someone else, uh, that your son killed himself. Something's going on. He was lying. That Amy, she was angry, very angry about something. We also wanted to have a chat to you about Simon before we had my father here. Yeah, we got the feeling that you didn't agree with some of the things your father said earlier today. Yeah, well, my father and I disagree about a lot of things, but it's a family matter. Well, we hope that's all it is. Look, you're here to see Simon's room? Yeah. Well, he was a bit of a loner. Oh. Come this way. Prepare to be underwhelmed. Uh, I, I didn't leave the door open like that. Hey, hey, there's a guy running out. Got you. Got you just stay here, right? Back as soon as I can, Amy. Make sure you go to the doctor, all right? Sure. Look, Amy was saying she doesn't think anything was stolen. Uh, not that I know of. What's this Forever 16? Goldstein. It's a poem Simon wrote when he was in year 12. He, he won an award for it. Do you know who Judy Nichols is? No. Can you pick me up at the station? Yeah. Okay, see you there. Hey, Aaron, you're right here on, on your own. Yeah, I'll Let's be go right. and see Jack, okay? No worries. See a doctor, won't you? Yeah, sure. Simon, always leave this switch on? No, not usually. Can I touch this? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what's on this? No. Did Simon have any floppy disks? Yeah. In a box on his desk, but I don't know where they've gone. So they've been stolen? Yeah. Well, there's some information on his hard drive. It's all been erased. Detectives Goldstein and Riley. Uh, close, but no cigar. Uh, Detective Sergeant Jack Christie. Detective Goldstein. Darcy Knowles. Darcy Knowles, how are you? Yeah, I saw hey. your photo hey. at the hey. Collins house. Oh, the old quad squad photo. Yeah. yeah, Shane Bookman said you might be paying us a visit today. Yeah, yeah. you both work here? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm in charge of the project. It's being run yeah. by my family company. And Gary here works for us as an associate engineer. Right, Simon used to work for you too, didn't he? Sure did. Chummy arrangement. Well, Sergeant, when you go to a school like Kingsmere, you make friendships that last a lifetime. Oh, the old class of chows together, stays uh, together. Uh, boys, sort of are we going anywhere? Because oh, just to uh, the workstation. I, I can show you around no, no, the place. No, 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 we're fine. I just want to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Um, you were at the reunion the other night, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, did you talk to Simon? Well, in passing, uh -huh. yeah. And uh, what was his mood? Well, Simon really only had two moods, drunk and very drunk. Oh, he sounds like a great guy to have on the building site. Well, as I said before, Sergeant, when you go to a school like Kingsmere, you make friendships that last. Look, uh, Simon's father was saying something about him going to university. Well, if he said that, then I'm sure that he was. Look, Carl, uh, these would have a pretty good view when they're finished. What would one of these units be worth? Well, as the old saying goes, Sergeant, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. But no, they've got you great know, it, It's amazing what you can put by with a little overtime, and I reckon we'll be racking up the hours on this one. Anyway, we'll see you. See you later, Sergeant. Come on, don't tell me that toss of Darcy Knowles didn't get up your nose, all too. All right, all right, just stop going on about it, yeah. Right, I mean, he's not the only one to keep tabs on his old schoolmates, you know. There's a couple out of my year that are in Long Bay right hey, now. Uh, Michael's waiting for you upstairs and he's got someone with him. Oh, did he get an x-ray? I don't think so. He has put on a clean suit, though. That is not one of mine. Why would Michael wear one of your because suits? Because I've got taste. If I've got nothing else, might have education, I've got, got taste. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Jack. Amy's had to think about things and she says that she might know what was on those floppy disks. The dark family secret. 
about six years ago, Simon had a total breakdown. It was his last year of school, uh, you know. Mm. Up until then, he could have done anything, but something happened and he, he was never the same again. Right, what was it? I don't know. But whatever it was, Darcy Knowles had, it, had something to do with it, you know? I mean, Darcy, my father and others have been trying to keep something locked away and, you know, I now think it's got something to do with Simon committing suicide. He's just... Look, um, that's really not much to go on, actually. Look, you people have been told a lot of lies, especially by my father. You know, Simon was talking about going back to university. What a load of... Simon couldn't even tie his own shoelaces sometimes, you know? I mean, don't you think that maybe just your father and others were just trying to avoid the scandal of suicide? I did think that, but I don't anymore. All right, all right, all right. Do you, do you want to tell me about Darcy Knowles? Yeah, I'll tell you about Darcy Knowles. He's a complete control freak and an utter, utter bastard. And he always has been. All right, but he obviously kept your brother in work. Yeah, he yeah. kept my brother in work so he could keep tabs on him. You know? I wish I could have done something to stop Simon working for that bastard, but what could I have done? Right, what okay, could I have okay, done? Okay, okay, okay. So what you're, what you're saying is that you, you think that Darcy had something to do with Simon's death, yes? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right, what? I mean, what, how? In the end, I think the pressure got too much for Simon. He was driven to do what he did. Well, now, I want whatever happened to my brother six years ago to come out in the open and whoever's responsible for making his life hell to pay for it. Even though we have no indication the death of Simon Collins was anything more sinister than suicide, you're suggesting that we start digging into something which may or may not have happened six years it ago. It might have something to do with Simon Collins' death. Of, it might. Of which we know nothing. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Riley, what do you think? I'd like to talk to Douglas Collins again. Jack? Well, yeah, Mick and Rachel can go and do that, and I might have a word to chop us, see what he's dug up. Yeah. All right. Keep me posted. Okay. Obviously not occurred to you that I have Mr. lost Collins, my son. when we spoke to you earlier, you failed to mention to us that your son, Simon, had a breakdown. Well, why should I? It's a long time ago, hardly relevant. I gather my daughter told you this. Yeah. Did you ever find out what the cause of your son's breakdown was? Yeah. Pressure. Pressure of exams, pure and simple. And yes, he had taken a long time to get over these, these problems, but as I pointed out, he was turning the corner. Well, you see, that's not the picture we're getting. Not only then from Amy, but also from picture. the other... More to the point, I fail to see how any of this can change what has happened. My son is dead. Thanks for your help. What types of report on Simon Collins? I have to read all this. Can you give me the shortened version? He drowned. Oh, no kidding. There's enough alcohol in his blood to suggest it was pretty painless. But... Have a look at the contents of his lungs and stomach. Yeah. Chlorine. Yeah. I thought he was found in the bloody harbour. Reckon he should have been found in a swimming pool. We're looking at a murder investigation here. I don't think so, Woodsy. Yeah. Hey, you guys get all that gear on to go in the swimming pool. Yeah, we are in the deep end. <laughs> Simon Collins. Geez, he didn't get very far. Thanks, guys. No worries. No worries. Look, I don't know why anybody would want to move the body. I've already told you all that I know. Well, Amy says that you were involved in something that happened to Simon in Year 12. So. Yes, that mad bitch has been pushing that one for years. They were twins, you know? They were very close. Maybe a little too close, if you know what I mean, eh, Gaz? <laughs> She's a fruit loop, eh, Daz? Yeah, they reckon you get class going to a school like yours. Now I know what they mean. Well, nothing happened to him at school, Sergeant. He had a nervous breakdown. End of story. Lay the cable. Come on, it's got to be put in. Slab's being poured first thing in the morning. Hurry up. Is that all, Sergeant, or are you going to make this a regular thing? Oh, like I said, mate, I need the overtime. We'll be seeing you. You know, I, like, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I know I shouldn't, but, you know, he just stirs me up all the time. You the silliest bastard, you know? I should kick his fat little butt. Uh, anyway, let's go see this school teacher. What's his name? This Bookman guy, see how he reacts. Right? Just, what's he got there? 
What's that? Oh, just this poem that Simon Collins wrote. Yeah. Forever 16? Yeah. Forever 16, Judy Nichols. Judy Nichols, your yeah, newspaper yeah. smile frozen all the time. Judy Nichols, it just keeps saying the same girl's name over yeah. and over again. Yeah. Yeah. Why, does it ring any bells? No, I tell you what, let's just uh, put this bookman guy on hold for a while, right? Go back to the office, I want to do a bit of digging. You want to hear the rest of the poem? Yeah. Uh, he says, uh, Judy, Judy no, no, Nichols, no, 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 all right, all right, all right. Don't worry about it, why don't you turn the radio on? Okay, there we are, gentlemen. Judy Nichols, aged 17 and three months. Body was recovered from an Nepean River just over six years ago. She'd been raped and strangled. No one was ever charged. No, not even any major suspects. Homicide just drags it out and dusts it off every now and then just to keep it alive. Radio. so Simon's poem's obviously about this poor kid. I mean, what does that prove? Well, you're right. Well, nothing yet. But I agree. I think it's well worth following up. Guess what? Judy Nichols died the night of the head of the river, 1992. That is the same day the Kingsmere Quad Skull had their greatest victory. And I bet Simon Collins' breakdown happened almost immediately afterwards. All right, but it's going to take a bit of work to connect it all up, you know. And what are you doing hanging around here for? So, was that, what's that? That's yeah, I've read it. Well, why do you think Simon had write about this girl? He saw a picture in the newspaper after she was killed. As far as I know, that's all there is to it. Right, you sure Simon never met her? He fell in love with her photograph. He became obsessed with how her life had been taken, and he... He wanted to invent a time machine, so no, he I didn't mention the time machine in the poem. Yeah, you, you know, don't you, that this girl was killed um, that day you won that um, foot, uh, foot, head, of the the head of the river? Head of the river. Well, of course I remember it happened around the same time, but not the same day, no. Right. You can't think of anything that would link uh, this girl's death with what happened to Simon? No, she was a picture in the newspaper. He never met her. None of us did. OK, Shane, well, listen, you were the last person to see Simon Collins alive last night. Do you want to make any adjustments to your statement you made earlier? No, I left him right over there and I went back inside, as I told you. Uh, after that, I have no idea what happened to him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back home and mark some essays. You'll be generous now. So, were you raging all night with the oh, boys where'd out you party? Go? What did you do? I don't don't you remember? remember. Oh, come on. This is one of the biggest nights of your life, and you do not remember what you did that night? It was night? six years ago, Detective Goldstein. Can you remember what you were doing six years ago? I won a race that I'd been training for for 12 months. I remember what I did that night, too. You expect us to believe that nobody remembers what happened that night? Well, that maybe that's me? the difference between us, Sergeant. We don't live in the past. Oh, yeah. We go on to new challenges. OK, eh? it's a funny thing, the past, isn't it? Because some people, people like Simon Collins, just can't get away from it. Is that why you gave him the job, eh? So you could keep an eye on him, so he wouldn't talk to anyone? Well, i tell you what, mate. I wasn't even there that night, but I bet I can tell you what happened. Go for it, Sergeant. I think it might be worth a laugh. All right, let's see how we go, eh? There's four guys, right? 17, 18 year olds. Yeah. They're the best of mates. They've just won the race of their life. They're going to have a little party to celebrate. Yeah, yeah there'd be sounds... a fair amount of booze yeah, there. Yeah, I that guess. sounds reasonable. Yeah, and what, and what use is a celebration without something to drink? Yeah? None at all. All right, none at all. Right, mate, I'll tell you what happened now. Right, they pick up a girl. One or two of them had a little too much to drink. Things get out of hand. All right? Well, come on, Mr. Knowles. You haven't told me what you think of my theory. So who was it that uh, did it, Gary, hey? Was it Darcy? Is that who did it? Is that what the problem is? This is bullshit! Sit down! I've got things to do! Sit down! A little bit nervous, are you? This is costing us money. Don't be surprised if Darcy sues you for it. Ah, oh, looking forward to that. You don't have to go down with him, you know that, Gary? If Darcy's responsible, there's no reason why you and Shane have to take the fall for it. I agree with you. Shake your head, that's right. Don't take the fall for it. Oh, the bastard's cool. I'll give him that much. But you know what his weakness is? It really is a weakness, right? He thinks he's smarter than everybody else. Well, he's probably right. Do you see his HSC results? Top 3% that day. Yeah, well, I got 48 in woodwork, but that's oh, not saying genius. anything. You know what they say? You know what they say, don't you? The smarter they are, the harder they fall. Right. Hey, what do you think of his mate? Well, I reckon if Darcy said jump, Gary would say hi. Yeah. Shane Bookman hasn't shown up at the school. They've sent someone to go and check on him, but they found his car parked around the corner from his flat, and there's blood in the car. All right, so this isn't a coffee break, are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, 
What do you reckon's going on here, Mick? You think this Shane Bookman character has gotten out of sorts with the Kinda other people? Kind of rules him out as a suspect, if he has. Hey, how about that Knowles joker, eh? He sits in there with yeah, us, Jack, right? Jack, I know Call you want to invite me your wedding as best, right? man. Don't jump to any conclusions. Well, we know he's just a guy who belongs to Bookman. Hey, guys, I found out who parked the car. This fellow here saw it. It was a female, mid-twenties, short, dark hair. Now, does that remind you of someone? You want to get her in, Mick? Sure. For the record, Miss Collins, why did Mr Shane Bookman stay at your place last night? Um, he wasn't in good shape. They'd worked him over pretty badly. Who had? Darcy and Gary, of course. Did he say why? No. Uh -huh. He said it was a warning to keep, keep his mouth shut, and that, that's all he said. Yeah, you don't know why? What no. about? He was scared stiff. Said that uh, Darcy had too much to lose, and... Um, could kill me if I he knew I knew. <laughs> I think he would too. He's, he's vicious. Vicious? Mm. Why do you say that? Uh, I went out with Darcy once when I was in year 12. That's before I knew what he was like. He was cute. He was a friend of Simon's. <laughs> well, let's just say things got a little bit out of hand on the first day and... Uh, I wasn't prepared to give him what he wanted. It got nasty. Why did you dump Shane's car? Why? Yeah, why? <laughs> Shane stayed at my house last night. We were worried that, uh... You thought that Gary and Darcy come back and bash both of you? Where's Shane now? I don't know. He left first thing this morning. But he didn't collect his car. Well, he didn't go to work. Hmm. You looking worried about this? Yeah. Of course I'm worried. God, these guys weren't an eight or they're looking at some real carnies. Uh, you're still assuming the bookman's dead? Yeah, I'd say it's a fair bit. Yeah, maybe. Surprise, surprise, nobody home. Slab's been poured. Maybe that was it for the day. Half day holiday. Gee, Darcy's a generous employer. I think the birds are flying, Jack. Maybe not. Hey. Oh, bang goes another theory. Gee, Darcy Knowles is dead as a dodo. Get on the crime scene, mate, will you? OK, so two of the famous four are dead and two are missing. And the question is, are the two survivors, who's chasing who? Well, maybe after last night, Shane Bookman decided to get in first and take out Knowles. And um, we only have Amy Collins' word that Gary and Darcy bashed Shane last night. I mean, both of them could have just cooked this story up just to justify it all. So Gary McPhee could be the next body we find. Oh, maybe not. I've just had a word with forensics. The blood in Bookman's car is here. We should be running a book on this. All the favourites keep getting knocked off. Rachel, Riley, I want you to stake out Amy's. I'm going to see Doug Collins. We now know what happened to Judy Nichols, Mr Collins. How long have you known? Does it matter? Oh, you bet it does. Concealing knowledge of a murder is a very serious matter. Those boys had their whole futures ahead of them. Now, they'd made a terrible mistake, but what was the point of ruining their lives and damaging the school's reputation? You know, you're bloody amazing. You commit the break-in, right, to access the information you knew was on your son's computer. You assault a police officer. Yes, you assault a police officer. You but don't understand what? the mental anguish I have been going through. Mental anguish? Mental anguish? What about the mental anguish and Judy Nichols' parents, eh? You ever thought about that? Of course I had, but what's done can't be undone, See, when all it? this bullshit, cone of silence descended, then all the grief for the last few days could have been avoided. And it didn't help Simon, did it? That's what caused his mental breakdown and ruined his life. Simon could not take what he had done, what they had done. He came to me to tell me he planned to go to the police. He warned his friends of what he was going to do, and like them, I strongly advised him not to do that. And when he drowned, I assumed he'd taken that advice. Oh, so you would have preferred him to take his own life, would you? Oh, don't be bloody ridiculous. I don't like you, Headmaster, or anything you stand for, right? And you're in a lot of trouble. Simon was my son. No matter what he had done, he was my son. Yeah. 
this. What do you got here? My favorite thing in the whole world. Oh, is this a Halloween golf steam steak yet? Mm. Hey, hey, hey. Mr. Bookman. It's like the weight, yeah. You guys? What? Huh? What, they work you over a bit, did they, Shane? Get a bit of revenge, too, did you? Do you think I killed Darcy? Hey, up until five minutes ago, we weren't even too sure if you were even alive. You know Darcy's dead, do you? I, I went there, but, but when I got to the building site, he was already dead. Oh, I mean, oh, come on. Look, I didn't do it, OK? I mean, I wanted to, but I just... What, what, what about Simon? Did you do that? I only found out what happened to him last night. When Gary and Darcy came around and they threatened me, I mean... Is this what you wouldn't... You know, you people are amazing. Jamie, hey, step hey, back here, what are you, covering up for each other, are you? Are you hiding behind that old school tie, are you, Shane? Yeah. When are you going to tell us the truth? Now, I want to make a full start! Ah! Police 200, we're in pursuit of a late model, silver Subaru. Licence plate's QNU501. The driver is armed. Copy that, Police 200. We'll notify all units. Copy that, Police 200. We'll notify all units. Copy that, Please copy that. Come on, tell them I'm coming. Okay. Tommy, you can look, I want you to get yourself to Cabarita Bay ASAP. He's just on his way. Where do you want to get there?
still don't know exactly how it happened, you know. We were all so drunk. The girl as well. Judy Nichols, yeah? Simon and I wanted to go to the police straight away, but Darcy could be very persuasive. I mean, we're all in it together, we're all equally guilty. Mm. And Gary just went along with whatever Darcy said automatically, you know? A day drifted by, and then a week drifted by, and then two. Six years later? Look, it was just like being in a bad dream. Only Simon was the only one who couldn't forget. How did Simon Collins die? Gary killed him. On Darcy's instructions, of course. He followed Simon and I out of the party, and then, and then when Simon walked away and I went back inside, Gary drowned him in the pool. How do you know all this? Because huh? Darcy told me last night to make sure I didn't get an attack of backbone like Simon did. Well, what can you tell us about Darcy Knowles' death? Not much. If I can make a reasonable guess. Yeah, go ahead. Give it a run. Mate. You see, Gary was in love with Darcy. He always had been. And, and, and Darcy, you, he, you know, he was such a bastard sometimes. He, that, that whole thing with Judy Nichols, I mean, he only raped her to, to torment Gary. It was, Then he made Gary kill her to stop her from going to the police. How can you explain Gary killing Darcy six years later? I don't know. That's where the guesswork comes in, I suppose. I mean, I, mean, I, I think that Darcy realised that it was all closing in on him. So he asked Gary to make the extreme sacrifice of taking full responsibility for killing the girl. Mr. Collins. <clears throat> You've already charged me. What do you want? Oh, I just need a detailed statement from you regarding your knowledge of Shane Bookman's involvement with uh, Judy Nichols' death. OK. Do I get my coat? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I didn't realise. You can see Kingsmere from here. Yes, I can. Hey. You're not still thinking of sending the kid of yours to a private school, are you? Oh, come on. This has got nothing to do with private schools. You know that. Yeah, yeah. No, I was just saying, if I had a kid, I wouldn't do it. Look, don't worry yourself, OK? You got no kid, you got no dough. Yes. You haven't got no class. <laughs>